understand. Polycystic ovary syndrome, or PCO, is a problem in which a woman's hormones are out of balance, which would affect her periods and fertility. So it will make it difficult to get pregnant. It may also cause unwanted changes in the way the woman looks and feels. If it isn't treated, over time it can lead to serious health problems like diabetes and heart disease. So why is it called polycystic ovary syndrome? Women with PCO grow many small cysts on their ovaries. Cysts are small balloons filled with liquid. The ovaries are our hormone factories and any problems in them would lead to hormone imbalances. So normally the ovaries make a tiny amount of male sex hormones called androgens. And in PCO, they start making more male hormones and this may cause you to stop ovulating. Another effect is that you would get acne and grow extra facial and body hair. Also, due to the hormonal imbalance, the body may have a problem using insulin. And in this case, we call it insulin resistance. Insulin is the hormone that makes the cells able to take up sugar for energy production. So when the body does not use insulin well, sugar levels will go up in the blood. Over time, this increases your chances of getting diabetes. The cause of PCO is not fully understood, but PCO seems to run in families. So your chances of having it is higher if your mother, sister, or an aunt has had it. So you have maternal or paternal aunts. It passes through from the father's side or the mother's side. Symptoms vary. You may have only a few symptoms or a lot of them. But the most common symptoms are acne, weight gain, or trouble losing weight, extra hair on the face and body. Often women get thicker and darker facial hair, especially on the chin, and more hair on the chest, belly, and the back. You might also notice thinning hair on the scalp, irregular periods. Often women with PCOs have fewer than nine periods a year. Some women have no periods at all, Others have very heavy bleeding. Fertility problems are also another aspect of PCO. Many women who have PCO have trouble getting pregnant and might need to seek medical help. Depression is unfortunately another problem of PCO. It's a bad symptom that might disturb your daily life. To diagnose PCO, the doctor will ask questions about your health, do a physical exam, do a number of lab tests to check your blood sugar, insulin, and other hormone levels. A pelvic ultrasound will be done to look for cysts on your ovaries. So what is the treatment of PCO? The most important steps towards treating PCO are regular exercise, healthy foods, and weight control. So try to fit in a moderate activity um, into your daily schedule. So walking and HIIT are great options for that. Eat heart healthy foods. This includes lots of vegetables, fruits, nuts, beans, and whole grains. Also limit the food that is high in saturated fat, like meats, cheeses, and fried foods. Losing about five kilograms will help your hormones get back in balance and regulate your menstrual cycle. So try losing about five kilos. If you smoke, consider quitting. Women who smoke have higher androgen levels that may contribute to the PCO symptoms. It may take a while for treatments to be helpful with symptoms such as facial hair or acne, and you can use over-the-counter drugs for acne or skin problems. And it can be hard to deal with having PCO, but if you're feeling sad or depressed, you can also talk to a counselor or uh, support groups online of women who have had PCO before. Remember that with PCO, you can change your whole health situation if you stick to a healthy lifestyle. Please remember that. So go for it. All the best. This video contains general information about medical conditions. 
The content might not be suitable for everyone and should not be treated as such. Always consult your doctor before using medications. The medical information is provided without any warranties or legal obligations to those who might apply them.